this is the main user interface area of the MOE. Now I will open the ligand in MOE by going to file menu and click on open and search for the ligand. So this is the ligand and click OK. You see this ligand is in 2D format. It's not in 3D format. So this is not suitable for the docking. To prepare this for the docking, we will change its structure into 3D format. So we will do it by energy minimization. So go to compute and then click on energy minimize. Here we will do some changes to the force field and clicking on this setting option i will change this yeah this is already amber 12 eht this force field is for protein nucleic acid and it also contain information for small molecules here you will take care of these two things first click on fix hydrogens to fix the hydrogens you have noticed that all the missing hydrogens were added to the ligand and then click on the fix charges and then click on close and now click ok leave these things as a default and click on ok now they have changed the structure into 3d format now we will construct library for this in mdb format so go to file menu click on new and click on database here you can give name to the database i will give the name saq dot saq hyphen legend and here we must mention the extension mdb molecular database we must give this extension here and then click ok i have created this database now i will import this ligand into this database so go to edit menu click on new and click on entry and then click ok now I have imported this ligand into the this database. Move your mouse cursor here and click left mouse button and drag your mouse down to make it larger. So and then click on the middle button of your mouse and move around it. You have noticed that this is the 3D format of our ligand. Now we have for form step two now we will go towards step three now we will go down and we will find the pdb code of 3cl4 enzyme so let's go down yeah this is the material and methods protein and ligand structure preparation so they have retrieved this protein from the protein data bank with accession number 6LU7 if you have watched my lecture 1 then you can easily retrieve this protein with this PDB ID and if you didn't watch my lecture first then stop here and watch it and then come back